Yeah, what's up people? It's OptoTaku here, trying to do a review, failing, so instead, I'm gonna give you my impressions of Redux Dark Matters. This is the Steam version, it's the best version that you can get. I wanna say thank you to HughCast for giving me this copy to review. I'm just showing the first three levels for you here, played on normal, don't wanna ruin it for you. Uh, 13 bucks, I believe it is, on Steam. It's a good deal if you love shooters. It's, uh, as I said, the best version out there. HD, and let me tell you a bit about the game. First, no no checkpoints, so when you die, you just respawn right there, and you keep on going. You get three continues, and when you continue, you start over at the beginning of the last level that you're on. The difference between normal and veteran is pretty major. Uh, on normal mode, you have a shield, so you can take a few hits. And also you have this pod that you see here that you can't launch it, but it absorbs stuff and it basically can ram into not everything, but maybe most things. Uh, so on Veteran, you've got neither of those and it just makes it quite a lot tougher, more classic, just sort of shoot and dodge gameplay. Uh, yeah, much more difficult. This uh, game is not super straightforward as far as all the different things. There's, you know, there's a... Um, Kind of a heat seeker shot you can get with your, with your orb and you can power up a, a beam and i don't even really get which is more powerful i don't always know uh but you know memorization familiarity with the levels is really important you just gotta play the game and play the game and after a while you start to get more of a feel for it it's not the kind of game at least in my experience i felt it's not the kind of game that you just play it and figure it out right out right away you know i mean you're kind of learning as you go you got to play through it a few times which is okay it's just that kind of a game having said that it would have been a lot better in my mind if it had come with a digital manual of any kind it doesn't and uh, or at least at the time that i make this I'm making this video nothing so hopefully that'll be updated there's just I, I still sometimes when i'm playing it don't know if i'm gonna hit something or absorb it or if it's a pickup or if it's a projectile or or what's going on most of the time and as i said if you keep playing you do figure it out um so yeah manual please uh i don't know that's that's my biggest gripe really <laughs> about this game and i do hope that will be added as an update but it is true that as you play it more and more you need it less and less but i, I like to know what i'm doing before i start but maybe that's just me uh color schemes as you can see the game is you know it's really pretty but sometimes I felt like there were too, the use of color was too sparse. And I also felt like there were a lot of times where the, again, the enemy uh, lasers or projectiles, they either looked like pickups or they looked like your own or my own um, lasers. So that wasn't so awesome. I like games where, you know, the stuff that's going to kill you is certain colors and the stuff that you're shooting is, you know, so you just don't have to worry about that. It's really clear. Uh, yeah. I do like that because it makes it easier to understand how that stuff's working. The contrast and the brightness settings, um, especially for level 2, which is in the upper right hand right now of the screen, the underwater stuff is hard to see, or at least on my computer. And uh, it would have been nice if there had been kind of like an optimizing option at the beginning. You can just get it just right on your screen. And if you pause it during gameplay to do that, you can't do it very well because it goes to this pause screen. So. That's not so sweet. Um, I'm okay with the weapon system, as I said, but it does. The power beam seems kind of weak somehow. It's huge, and yet it just doesn't seem to do that much damage sometimes. I don't know. I don't understand the scoring at all. I just know you blow all the stuff up, and then you, you know, you get points. Uh, the sound effects are okay. Most of them are good enough, I guess. But I don't like some of them because I like more visceral explosions. But again, maybe just me. The music's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Even the game over music is great. Excellent soundtrack. Um, aside from the color grabs, like I said, really beautiful game. Detailed, good looking. And great tight controls too. Very little slowdown. I played this on an old underpowered gateway laptop and it worked perfectly. Smooth. So I like it, but I don't love it. Um, I still may learn to love it. I need to spend some more time with it. Either way, I think it's a great deal for shooter fans. 13 bucks or whatever it is, something like that. I would recommend it. And it's worth it. It's worth it. So, just because I didn't fall in love with it doesn't mean you won't. And uh, the Mighty Sir Flash did. So check out his much better review. And there's a link in the description. Description. The description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.